my next question is moving forward how might institutions such as your own aid in supporting the improvement um, of the standard of health and physical and mental um, in historically disadvantaged communities such as the black Mexican Native American communities of this country so NIMHD our mission is to advance the science of minority health and health disparities. This is what we do every day. This is all we think about is the, um, the health condition of our underserved communities, which include racial and ethnic minorities, sexual and gender minorities, underserved rural populations, and individuals of less privileged socioeconomic status in general. And so we have a, a really comprehensive strategic plan um, we know the kind of science we're looking for to address inequities in healthcare. And our goal is to make the significant contributions to support the scientists to understand both the etiology and the maintenance of health disparities. And we know that the biggest underlying factor is disadvantage, plain and simple. And that means that once we create a more just society and world, we can resolve many of the disparities we have and because this represents such a huge undertaking, it is important to continue to advance the science to generate the data necessary, for example, to inform policy change that will help us move toward having a just society and world. That's what we call equity. That's what we call health equity. And it's a difficult problem, but and it's hard to fix, but it is fixable. There have been some uh, there's some evidence of progress in some areas of health disparities where we're seeing those gaps close, and that's exciting, and that's positive. And those are the kinds of innovations that we're looking for in the field from a very multidisciplinary perspective. Um, and so that's what we do every day. That's what I'm here for. That's what I love to do is to think about what more we can do to bring us closer to health equity.